We're going to have a look now at factorizing trinomials. Now, in the last video, we looked in depth at this idea that when you multiply out two binomials, what you end up with is a trinomial, and this term is equal to 2 times 3, and the coefficient of x is equal to 2 plus 3. Or in this case, same story. This is equal to negative 6 times 2, that gives me negative 12, and this coefficient of negative 4 is equal to negative 6 plus 2. We're going to use this pattern now to help us factorize. If we're asked to factorize x squared minus 6x plus 8, remember factorizing is the opposite of multiplying out. So what we want to do is get back to the two brackets that when multiplied together will give you x squared minus 6x plus 8. From the pattern we've just observed, we will know that these brackets, each of these brackets will be of the form x plus something or x minus something. And what we've got to figure out now is what that something is. Now we know that this times this must multiply together to give us 8. So for two things to multiply, two integers to multiply together to give us positive 8, we know that we've either got to have a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. But we also know that they've got to add together to get us to negative 6. Now there's no way you can have a positive number and add another positive number and get negative. So the situation that we have to be in here is a negative times a negative. So what I've got to look for now are what are the negative integers that multiply together to give me 8 and add together to give me negative 6 and we practice doing this at the beginning. So let's just go through that process. Let's start with 1, so negative 1 multiplied by negative 8 gets me to 8, then go to 2, well it's negative 2 multiplied by negative 4 which gets me to 8, 3 doesn't go into 8, 4, well we've already dealt with 4 so we can stop there. Now all we have to look at is which of these add up to negative 6, and that should be easy enough to see it's negative 2 and negative 4, and so in here we'll get negative 2 and negative 4. Another example, if we're asked to factorize x squared minus 11x minus 12, well, we know we want to have two brackets, and in each of them we're going to have x plus something or x minus something. How do we end up having a negative 12 here, we've got to multiply this by this, and we've got to end up with a negative 12. We know that we to get a negative, when we multiply together, we've either got to have positive times negative, or we've got to have negative times positive. So let's go and have a look at what are the things that multiply together to give me negative 12. Well, let's start with 1. 1 multiplied by negative 12 gets me to negative 12, but also negative 1 multiplied by 12. Let's go to 2. You can have 2 multiplied by negative 6, or negative 2 times 6. Then 3, 3 multiplied by negative 4, or negative 3 times 4. 4 would be the next one, but we've already dealt with 4, so we can stop there. Now all we have to do is see which of those add up to give me negative 11, and Actually, luckily enough, it's the first one, because 1 plus negative 12 gets me to negative 11, and so I can put this in. It's a positive 1, so it's plus 1, and negative 12, so it's minus 12.